This final video on the axial skeleton is of the thoracic cage, which is made up of the sternum and the ribs. That's the part that we haven't covered yet. And what we have covered of the thoracic cage is the thoracic vertebrae, which are at the posterior aspect. So let's begin with the sternum. The sternum, or breastbone, is composed of three parts, the manubrium, body, and xiphoid process. And that is in order from superior to inferior, and I'll explain them on the image here. So here is the sternum. The superior portion is the manubrium, which has a jugular notch. And at the inferior end of the manubrium, there's the sternal angle, where the body of the sternum is located. And then at the inferior tip of the sternum, we have what's called a xiphoid process. You see it here too. This is actually calcified cartilage. Uh, in a younger person, it would just be hyaline cartilage. As someone gets older, it, it becomes calcified, it hardens. And if you're performing CPR, be sure to stay on the body of the sternum, not on the xiphoid process, because especially in an older person, that could be brittle and could break off, and that would be a sharp tip entering your thoracic cavity. Here's the write-up of some other landmarks of the sternum, like the jugular notch and sternal angle that you saw. I just didn't mention the xiphal sternal joint, which I wouldn't worry about too much, but that's where the body meets the xiphoid. The final part of the thoracic cage are ribs. There's 12 pairs of ribs. One pair superior all the way to pair 12, which would be the most inferior. But pairs 1 through 7 are termed true ribs or vertebrosternal ribs. Pairs 8 through 12 are false ribs also called vertebrochondral ribs. 11 and 12 are false ribs as well, but we call them vertebral ribs. Now, there's a lot of text here that I went through, but I'm going to explain everything. So here is an image of the 12 pairs of ribs. We can see that ribs 1 through 7 directly attach to the sternum. They become cartilage first. This is hyaline cartilage, but the costocartilage right here of the ribs directly attached to the sternum, and we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So those are your true ribs, your superior seven pairs of ribs, also called vertebrosternal ribs because they go from the vertebrae to the sternum. The rest of the ribs are called false ribs because they don't directly attach to the sternum. Two of them just end ribs 11 and 12. We call those floating ribs because there are no, there is no uh, articulation at the anterior side of the body. They just stop. Another name for floating ribs are vertebral ribs because they go from the vertebrae to, well, nothing. So our other false ribs, number 10, 9, and 8, so rib pairs 8, 9, and 10, are not true ribs. They're also false ribs, but they have costal cartilage. But their costal cartilage joins up with the cartilage above and the cartilage above. So you eventually get to the sternum, but indirectly. So false ribs 8, 9, and 10 indirectly attach to the sternum and we call those vertebrochondral ribs because they go from the vertebrae in the back to the cartilage in the front. So to recap, ribs 1 through 7, true ribs, vertebrosternal, ribs 8, 9, and 10, false ribs, vertebrochondral, and ribs 11 and 12, also false ribs, but vertebral.